Uh, actually, the day that we are now taping this was this news were released. Nintendo, in all their glory, said, "Hey, that NES Classic bit the dust. <laughs> we're not gonna make any more of them. We're discontinuing." In the same fucking year that they made them, they're discontinuing them. So now all you people that are sitting on mountains of these things, now you have even a bigger goddamn gold mine than you had before. I know a certain person that I get pissed <laughs> off about when it comes to this. I won't mention names. But this shit makes me mad. Why does everything Nintendo makes have to be such limited fucking numbers of things? Even shit that they're going to keep around for years. They're like, brand new system, make make 300 of them. We yeah. spread it across the entire globe. It's not even one per country. <laughs> <laughs> spread it all over the entire globe. All the GameStops in the world can only fucking reserve 10 of them. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? And the funny thing is, is like, and I've seen this especially with Amiibos, like, the prices were skyrocketing for people that were trying to get, like, the Smash Brothers line in mm -hmm. the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And now, there were certain characters that went for so much money, and now they don't go for jack shit because, like, now they flooded the market with, like, mm -hmm. reprints of them, and now it's worthless. Except some of them still go for some decent money. Yeah. But, I which I don't fucking care. Like, I really don't. Even, like, because Jamie was looking, and she was like, you realize... That fucking Smash Brothers link we have on box, we can get eighty dollars for that thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna sell it. I like these things. I'm keeping yeah. these things. I don't know. I have a humongous distaste for for resellers. Like flipping, I don't give a shit about. If you're gonna buy something dirt cheap and you're flipping for what it is face value, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hate you for that because you're at least still being honest you're selling for what it goes market rate yeah. now if you're buying at market rate and then you're going on ebay and you're saying hey i bought this 60 dollars nes classic why not sell it for 4.99 <laughs> why not fuck it i'll sell it for six thousand dollars if you buy me a plane ticket too and i'll fly it to your house i'll personally deliver it to you i'm sure that guy never sold a single one of them because first of all who, why would you want to meet a complete fucking stranger to buy a fucking one-off, or you could spend less than that to just have it mailed to your fucking house? It's one of the most over-the-top reckless meetings ever. Yeah. yeah. You're not just meeting in a public space, you actually have to fly them there. Yeah. And, uh, and unlike most Craigslist meetups, you're not getting fucked with this one either. Yeah. You're going to leave dry. <laughs> no sense. <laughs> you Craigslist spent money for this guy to fly over here and he's not even going to do you. I mean, uh, yeah, because I guess that violates eBay policy. Yeah. But, um, I have some things that I could definitely say unless I know we want to we want to stop this later. Topic. Um, cool but jets. <laughs> uh, I will say that I think it's a bad decision. It's a terrible. Like, decision. They did not need to continue to produce in large quantities, but here's the thing: they never did. They never did produce it in large quantities. Yeah. But I was hoping they would just. Ugh, excuse me. Like, because Sega, even though it's at games that makes these things and they don't really do top quality, mm -hmm. like, Sega keeps reproducing travel and or, you know, at-home consoles that have built-in games and shit like that. They still make them. Mm -hmm. They just make different versions of it. You know, they keep making it a little better each time. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck couldn't they just, every now and then, just put another wave of them out there and just keep doing it? Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, I guess like I guess from what I heard, the uh, last shipments are going to be going out this month, and they'll be hitting stores I later if, this month. I wonder if Ghost Train's picking up on the mic right so, now. So uh, <laughs> it's really loud tonight. I know the train's really fucking loud. Um, so you know people are going to be, you know, getting them early uh, <laughs> before they even make it on the shelves, which is just disgusting. But um, well, and the other thing that I I, I don't like how poorly the basically the pre-selling of the shit gets handled because they'll just fucking they'll pre-sell everything that they fucking have then there's nothing to go to market yeah well they, they you, won't do pre-orders uh they, they they didn't do pre-orders on the nes if they did 
I I'm think su- I'm I sure think certain Target, stores did. Target did. Target was the only one that I know of that did. Yeah, and then most of the fucking employees got it before it yeah. could even be. And, and people are like, oh, how can you say that like people are getting these before they're on the shelves? I spoke to a specific person at Target. <laughs> at Target. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about it. Different story. Different store. Different story. Different store, different story. Uh, and the guy's like, yeah, we got a bunch of those in, but like the staff already bought them all up and i'm like you're actually telling me this like yeah that should be a behind the scenes scene like are you actually going to like try to sell it to me at a higher price like i had a fucking guy do that yeah. to me for a pop once yeah you had that happen to you it was, that was a target it's like yeah new shipment came in i bought one you want one i'll sell it to you for 30 bucks and i'm like no you can fuck off that's mm. how i said it too i'm like no you can fuck off i'm not doing that yeah you're a dick i'm trying to think of which one is it was the dr mario one which at one point was a uh, Target exclusive. Oh, right, right. And I said to the guy, I was like, hey, you guys getting any of those in? He's like, well, the ones we got, the staff already bought them. That's not right. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? That's You shouldn't be able to. <laughs> First of all, you shouldn't be able to do that, and you shouldn't be able to. I can understand that that job is not a glamorous job, and you should be able to have some kind of perks. I, I agree that, like, for somebody who worked at a hotel, if I got snowed in or needed a room... I feel like I should have been able to get a nicer room because, hey, I work there. But when it comes to something like this... But it's a difference. If yeah. it's snowed in, you're not... There, there's not people beating down the door to get a room. Right. The hotel's good, not, not going to get packed. So, yes, take a better room. Right. This is something that's in limited numbers, and it's just in the store, and it's like, mine. And, like, and it also wouldn't bother me as much as if I knew the person was buying it for their own personal collection. Yeah, or, they're just buying whatever. it to resell. But if they're just buying it to make more, to make money to buy pot, which I assume a lot of these were sold for, it sounds terrible, but uh, <laughs> it makes a Might lot. Of, be some heroin. It makes there. a lot of sense. Um, then you know I have you know issues with that because well, that was like when I worked at Comics Connection, we had a rule. Uh, it didn't always get followed, but it was mostly something that everybody followed. The owners, uh, they both asked nicely, like, when new stuff comes in on Tuesday, or like, you know, when new stuff comes in, basically, whenever new stuff comes in, can you wait at least a week till you buy it? So it gets other people a chance to, to buy the stuff. You know, and it's like, yeah, that's fine. If I wanted my own, I would have put in an order for it for the shipment when it comes in, so I'd have one. That's what most of us would always do. But that's, you know, if you f- if you miss it and it comes in, you see something you didn't know about, you're like, well, that's cool. They're just like, just wait a week. Yeah, but you had the advantage of being able to put your order in. Yeah. Um, it Which they, they, honestly, mm-hmm. targets and shit like that, they should let their employees do that then. Mm-hmm. The way it's not taking away from what they're buying to yes. stock. Exactly. I don't know. I love Nintendo and I fucking hate Nintendo. For, like, they make... You know, it's funny when you think about Nintendo. I don't buy Nintendo products because of the hardware. Mm. I'm buying it because of the games that come along with said hardware. Sure. Because honestly, like, we, I kind of like the pad. It was a little, it was different. It was a different way to play a game, but it wasn't necessary. I bought the Wii because of the Nintendo games that were going to be on the Wii. I bought the Switch because Breath of the Wild was going to be on the fucking Switch. Which, by the way, I did taste the cartridge. It's fucking hard. <laughs> it is god-awful. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is compressed out of, but... Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I was talking to, to my one friend, Dan, and he's just and I was like, Do you know, have you tasted it yet? And he's like, what are you talking about? He had no idea. That, that they had done How this. How do you not know? And, and he tried it, and he's just like, oh, now you got to try it. And I'm like, damn it. So I had to try it, and I'm like, Did you clean his saliva off of it? I, I It was the other side. And I, <laughs> didn't, I didn't do the thing like some people, where they put the whole thing in their mouths. I just kind of like like put my tongue to the label. Yeah, kinda I like, just... Kind of like doing the 9-volt battery when you're a kid kind of thing, you know, just to get that shock. Yeah, when, the day I opened mine, I was just like looking at it, I'm like, eh. And I just like kind of went like, eh. Like, touched it to it, and I'm like, bah! Bah! Oh, God! Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I, I knew it was going to taste bad, but I was just like, holy shit, this is, like, the worst thing I've ever tasted. Plastic-wise. Yeah. <laughs> Non-edible. Put yeah, it that way. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. 
you know, Nintendo, fuck you. You should be, you should not be shutting these down. You should be making more of these. Uh, yeah. There's no reason why you can't just be resupplying every now and then in small quantities. Stay like, tuned for more anger from me. Yeah, this, this is going to be a discussion topic later in the show. So for that, we got to move on a little bit more here. Um, which one do I want to talk about here? Uh, let's talk about this one because I think it's kind of interesting. Um, Nintendo, since we're on Nintendo, they want to pay people uh, $20,000 if you can hack the Switch or the current 3DS. And they're doing this because they want to make the consoles the most secure consoles mm -hmm. that people can buy. Okay. So they have a list. It's like, you know, for online marketing or, you know, uh, for basically breaking I guess they call that jailbreaking so you can put new yeah, yeah, like yeah. you can put, like, yeah. put SDs in it and play other games and they're like there's like this list of stuff and if you can figure it out and you support you know you submit a, a form and a written thing of how you did what and da da da, da showing them that you, you can get twenty thousand dollars for it. And I think that's a lot of fucking money to be shelling out like I'm like are you sure that it can't be broken into too easily that you're going to throw 20k at somebody. Yeah, that's kind of ballsy. Because if if you kind of didn't really if you did rush it out, which I think you kind of did, felt like it anyway. Yeah. You might be shipping out a lot of money. <laughs> you know? yeah. Like and there's there's people that are fucking savants at doing this shit, like especially sure. handhelds. I haven't seen a person who hasn't like, I haven't seen a video online of somebody who hasn't been able to break any sort of handheld to just put ROMs and shit on it mm -hmm. and, you know, do that. Because, uh, and that, that, we talked about this on a previous episode with Nintendo was trying to get uh, ROMs, like they were trying to make that not happen, and Xbox was doing the same thing, mm -hmm. trying to get ROMs not to work and shit like that. And it's like, you're not going to stop it. Even yeah. if you're going to shell out all this unnecessary fucking money to figure out how you can stop it, it's not going to stop. Somebody will fucking make a peripheral no. to attach to it to make it bypass. I, I'm trying to think of what the benefit of this is to them. Because you got to think... Yeah, what's that, it going to stop? That there are people there that, that put these systems together... They should know how to hack it already. So, is it kind of like a challenge? Because that's the way it's coming off. Because it sounds like you're just like, you can't crack it. No, it's they're not doing it as a challenge. But it's, that's how it sounds. It's, off, it's like actually market research. Like, they're trying yeah. to make sure it can't be hacked. And I'm like, put that into your online shit. Don't worry about your hardware. Yeah. It's going to get fucking hacked one way or another. doesn't matter. Like... Yeah, I mean, people have been modifying consoles forever, and they will always find a way to do it. People are like, oh, well, they can't do it because of copy protection or uh, region coding or what." There's always a way around it. Yeah. Sometimes you got to, like, basically wipe a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, programming off the system to get it to work, but there's always a way to get it to work. Yeah. It, it's a waste of time and money. It, it's just very bizarre. All the money, that's probably why they stopped making the uh, NES Classics. Yeah, so they, they put, can, those, put all the money towards this. Fucking dumb. I don't understand what they're so afraid of. Yeah. It, that they need to do this. Honestly, if somebody's putting ROMs on the console, what's the matter? It's not going to stop them from buying your new games. So, what are you fucking Actually, worried about? Actually, you know, honestly, a little bit of revival in Wii sales was because people realized... I can hack this thing and put thousands of games on it, and it has a nice interface. Yeah. And, like, people are just like, and it also has a keyboard that you can hook up to. You can run DOS games on this thing. Like, yeah. Like, it just kind of, like, rejuvenated some of their sales towards the end because people are like, wow, you can really do, like, a lot of yeah. different things with this. You can, I forget how many it was, like, you can almost fit, like, 10,000 plus games on the goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just like, that's a whole library in this white, this one little white fucking console. Just Basically, all you need is a big enough SD card. Yeah. Or a USB drive. And you <laughs> it just, just plug it, it right in, and it just reads it. Yeah. And it, it'll, and then you can have it where it will actually put 
the uh, put icons up in the boxes of the menu. There's ways to do that, and there's a huge underground uh, Wii homebrew uh, community out there that continue to make stuff. Hmm. I think the only other one that was as successful as that was the Dreamcast. There wasn't a damn disc that thing wouldn't fucking read. <laughs> yeah, that thing would just read whatever, yeah. <laughs>